Welcome, I found me is a CAT S52 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So to get started, when you boot up the device for the first time, you'll have to choose language. Now for me it's already selected the correct one, but if you want to change yours, all you need to do is tap on the arrow right here. As you can see you have a plethora of other choices to choose from. And from there you want to tap on start and you will have the sim sim insert page so this step is completely optional you can insert your sim card right here uh, or later and it changes really nothing the moment you insert the sim card phone automatically recognizes it and starts working normally i'm gonna skip this for now then you have wi-fi connection so you can here connect to your wi-fi if you're in the range of your wi-fi um, if you if you don't have any network that you can connect to you can again simply skip this and do that later on. Um, the only downside here is if you choose to skip it, you won't be able to log into a Google account right now, uh, which would be normally shown also in the setup. And also, you won't have the option to restore from uh, from Google backup. And other than that, nothing really changes. And again, both of those things can be done later on after the setup. And we have Google services right here. Uh, you can read what they do. Um, so you have localization, scanning, and send user and diagnostic data. Now, if you don't want any of these, you can simply deselect them as you can see. And tap on accept. Then we have unlock with fingerprint. Now, this is just a way of protecting your device. If you tap on next, it will also give you a choice between setting up a pattern pin or a password. Uh, you cannot have only a fingerprint. So, if you want to set up one of those, uh, choose one of them. Uh, one thing that I will also add, because it didn't show there, it's only giving us a fingerprint option. Um, if you choose pin pattern or password, uh, along with the fingerprint, once you set up one of those first methods, um, you can skip the fingerprint. So, let's just say I'm going to go with the pattern. Uh, secure startup. Um, I will choose no over here. Uh, what it will do is... Uh, when you boot up the device, before it fully boots up, it will ask you uh, to, for your pin, pattern, or password, wherever you want it to protect it with. And then once it fully boots up, you still have to insert it once more. So it just forces you to insert your security before the phone is fully turned on. So I'm going to select no. And as you can see, there we go. So we need to put in a pattern. Draw your pattern or pin or password or whatever it is up next and repeat it once more and confirm it and as you can see now it will go to fingerprint so we can now start scanning our fingerprint but if we only want to have one way of unlocking that be pen pattern or password we can simply skip it and that will keep uh, the first method that we have chosen while just not adding the fingerprint um, they have the devices uh, manufacturer some privacy policy. Um, obviously, we need to agree to them. Tap on agree. Experimental experience programs. Um, you can simply skip this uh, by tapping on the arrow if you want to. You can also read what it exactly does if you're interested. And as you can see, we're basically done with the setup. And also, if we now lock the device and try to unlock it, we will need to put in the pattern to unlock it. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.